Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Cloud Deep Dive. Last year in September 2020, Amazon launched a new feature called Amazon Virtual Private Cloud Prefix Lists. In today's video, we will talk about this new feature. We will discuss what problems and challenges companies were having and how this new feature helps them to overcome those challenges. I will give you a demo and will show you how you can create these lists and how you can use these. In addition, there is a new enhancement made to this feature this year uh, in August 2021 uh, by Amazon. We will discuss about that new feature, new enhancement as well. So please watch this video till end and it will help you to understand the new feature completely and what new enhancements are made by AWS or by Amazon. Okay guys, so let's understand what was the problem uh, by looking at this picture. Suppose you have a, uh, two, in two different regions, you have some VPCs and in VPC A, you have a server running and users from VPC D, E and F, they want to connect to that web server. To do that, you need to update the security group of the web server and you have to allow that any traffic coming from the CIDR, of, CIDR range of VPC D, E and F, the traffic has to be allowed, right? You have to put a rule uh, in that particular security group. And suppose you want to allow it for your HTTP traffic, HTTPS traffic and SSS traffic. That means there will be three rules for each CIDR. And because there are three CIDR, you'll end up adding nine different rules in that security group. Similarly, on the route table, any traffic going from this particular uh, uh, target group for D CIDR range that has to be basically like you say that a, any traffic going for this particular uh, CIDR block from this VPC or from this region will take this TGWP adding path. So you, you will end up adding three different rules saying that for one CIDR take TGWP adding, for second CIDR take TGWP adding path and for third side, third sider, take this pairing connection. But in future, suppose you are and you are adding six more or three more VPC in this particular region, then you have to update the security group for nine more rules. Then you have to update the route table of TGWA with three more rules. And if this is only one security group, you may be fine. But in our production environment, we know that we have many security groups. So you might end up updating multiple security group with those uh, new CIDR blocks. And when human is updating it, there are highly chances that there is, there might be some issue or the, yeah, they may end up adding a wrong CIDR block or with the mistake of a single digit instead of zero, if you end up putting nine or one or two, any other different digit that can cause a big problem in your production environment. So how you can solve that? So prefix list helps you to solve that issue. What you can do, you can create a list of all the ciders. So prefix list, basically what it is, is a set of one or more cider box. So in this example, you can create a prefix list, which will have, or which will be set of cider block of this cider, this cider, and this cider. So it will have a three ciders in that prefix list. And instead of using the cider addresses in my security group or in my route table, I will reference that particular prefix list. So I will say that, suppose I'm creating a prefix list A. So instead of saying that this particular cider will be allowed, I will say that that prefix list will be allowed and any address or cider range added to that prefix list will be, uh, will get the access to that web server. And similarly on the route table, I will reference the prefix list instead of referencing the CIDR directly. So in future, suppose you are adding more uh, CIDRs or more VPC. So you don't need to go and update the security groups because security groups are referencing to prefix list. So if you update the prefix list, all the security group will start giving access to all the CIDR blocks, which are part of that prefix list. So you don't need to update uh, the security groups are out tables, you will just update the prefix list at one place and all the rules will be automatically updated. So chances of having an error, because instead of updating multiple security groups and multiple route tables, you are just updating those at one place. So human error or the chances of error are very less. 
So next, let's go to the console and we'll see how you can create this list and how you can use it in your security group. Okay guys, I have logged in into my console and for the prefix list, I will go to VPC. So you can either select from services or from recent or you can search for the VPC. I'll go to my VPC section. And under VPC, you will find manage prefix lists. So AWS already created two prefix lists for you. Uh, one is for S3 and one is for the Dyno, DynamoDB. And uh, this is for if you are creating the gateway endpoint, because for those, uh, you will have to update your route table or basically those endpoint internally create or update your route table that any traffic going to uh, S3 connections, it has to go to that uh, private or kind of VPC endpoint, gateway endpoint you have created. So there they reference or they use that prefix list ID. And if I open it, you can see that some details about that. And in the entries, you will see a list of CIDR ranges. So all these CIDRs are for those S3, uh, public S3 uh, endpoints where your traffic will go. So these are the two which already created for you by AWS for S3 and DynamoDB you cannot update or modify these two list uh, anything basically created by aws for you is not uh, you cannot uh, uh, update or modify or delete it it uh, it, it will be kind of uh, owned by aws so yes so you can see that you can export it manage tags but you cannot do anything else with this so now let's see how you can create your own to do that you will create uh, click on create prefix list and you will give a name I'll say de demo list. Uh, this is a max entry. So what does max entries means? Uh, here you have to specify that how many entries or how many side or range you want to add to this uh, prefix list. So till August 2021, whatever number of uh, maximum entries you were putting or you put here, that was the final. So suppose I say that number five here, so after putting it here and once I create that prefix list, if you try to modify this value, it was not possible. But uh, last week only, in fact, on uh, August 27th, uh, if I remember the date correctly, they launched a new feature or enhancement to this that even after creating this prefix list, if you want to update it, you can update it uh, later on as well. So from five, you can make it six or 10 or what are the maximum limit is. You can do that and I'll show you in the demo that how you can update that as well uh, towards the end of the video. But uh, this is the maximum entries. The field was there that how many how many uh, cider blocks you want to put it in your prefix list. So I'll take an example of two and I'll show you that once I update you with the two, then what happens? Uh, another thing is like you have to uh, specify what kind of IP range or IP ciders you will be adding. So in a particular prefix list, you can either have IPv4 or IPv6. You cannot have a combination of both. So you have to specify that are you, uh, do you want to add IPv4 type ciders or you want to add IPv6 type. Um, here you can add the entries by, so suppose uh, I want to add entry of 10.0.6.0 16 and another entry I want to add for dot seven and you can see that i cannot add any more entries so whatever the max entries are specified here it will let me add only those cider box here so if i make it three then you can add one more but after that you won't be able to add more so this is what max entries is and till now you were not able to update it but now AWS has opened it and you can update it uh, by, by using your CLI or SDK and I'll show you in a demo how you can do that. Uh, in the end, you can provide the tabs and you can click on the create prefix list. Okay, so I think I used, uh, sorry, uh, wrong cider here. So let me make it zero, zero and I'll make it one and then click on create cider. So you can see my uh, prefix list is created. You get a prefix list ID, which you will use to reference in your security group or in your route table. Next, you will see a version number here. And what that version number is, uh, 
So suppose you want to modify this prefix list. Let's click on modify and instead of using uh, either I can remove a prefix list or by basically cider block or I can modify it. Suppose I want to modify it and make it 0.2 and save it. So it will save it as a new version number in this. So you can see that this cider I got a version 2. So it will create a new version. The old version will always be kept behind the scene and you will be provided with a new version. And the benefit of that is suppose you made a mistake when you updated it and you want to roll back to uh, your previous version. So you can do that as well. For that you will say restore prefix list and it will show you what is your current version and it will list all the previous versions as well. So you can select hey I want to go to my version 1 and it will show you what cider range you had in your previous version. You can choose that and you can click on restore prefix list. So when you do that, you will get a new version. So let me refresh it and I'll get a new version, version number three. So my version two is also stored. My version one is also here and I got a new version, version three. So that's the benefit of having the version that whatever you are changing is being stored. And if you want to roll back to any of the previous version, you can do that. Next, you can delete it if you want to do it. And apart from that, if you want to export these ciders, you can do that and you can uh, manage the tags as well. Uh, modify prefix list is kind of same that you can modify it or you can add more if your max entries are more than two and you are not you have not reached to that. Uh, next, let's see how you can use this prefix list in a route table or in your uh, security group. So let's first go to the security group and open it in a new tab. So I have one security group here and I go to the inbound rules and edit inbound rule, add rule. So suppose I'm saying that uh, SSH anything so you can specify the cider blocks individually you can do the uh, security groups and now you can use the prefix list as well. So here I can say that I can choose the prefix list we just created it will pop up here that any traffic coming from this prefix list and what does that mean that any traffic coming from the prefix list ciders or ciders listed in this prefix list will be allowed for the SSH connection. So in future if I want to add a new cider range I can just update the prefix list I don't need to come here and update the security group so it's that simple to do that. Next on the route tables if you want to update the routes, so you can go to the routes, edit route, add, and here you can use your prefix list ID. So the prefix list which we have created is already uh, popping out here. You can select that and you can say that if any traffic going to cider range, which is part of this prefix list, where you want to send that traffic. So you don't need to add entry or new entry for each cider you can just use the prefix list instead of using the uh, cider of each basically entry for each side. So that's how you can use it in your route table. So guys next let's see how we can update the max entries. So if we go to modify prefix lists you can see that I can only uh, add or remove an entry in this list but I cannot update the max entries. And to do that, I have to go to uh, a console and I have to log in from there. And from there, I we can update this prefix list. So I have logged in into my Cloud9 environment, and this is the entry you will use it. Uh, it's provided uh, by Amazon, and you can refer to their CLI document. I can provide the link in the description. Uh, it says that AWS EC2 modify manage prefix list hyphen hyphen prefix list slash I, uh, hyphen ID and here you will provide the ID of your list so we are doing for 558 5528B is 5528B and then max entries space 3 so in, you can say that uh, earlier it was 2 and a new version is generated for that so let's go and refresh if we see and go you can see the max entries coming here as 3 and if I go and I will be able to add a new entry. 
So by using that console, not from the console, by using the CLI, you can update the max entries in the prefix list. So suppose you, uh, in the starting when you when you started, you had uh, specify only three prefix list or three cider block you'll be adding, but now you need to modify it. So that's the new feature which AWS launched this year in 2021 in August that earlier it was not modifiable uh, whatever you specified is specified you cannot update it you have to create a new list but with this a new new feature from the cli you can update this max entries as well so that's it all uh, about this prefix list guys uh, please let me know if you have any question or please put and feel free to add it in, in, a, in the comment section Please do like and subscribe to our video. Press on the bell icon. I'm releasing a new video every other week or every weekly based on the material I'm getting. And I'm focusing mostly on the newly launched features that which will benefit you to learn about new AWS services. So please do subscribe to my channel and uh, press on the bell icon so that you'll get notified whenever I add a new video. Thank you so much, guys.